You used to call me on my cell phone. Let now when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone. Clerva. Eh, okay, okay. No catalog. I got to get the new catalog. I'm, I'm not trying to be racist, I'm sorry. But like, let me talk about Indian people for a second. They- Okay, I'm gonna be honest, that was a terrible way to start the episode. I am so sorry. Nice name, by the way. I like it. Anywho, how's it going, Toons the World? It's your pal, Mega Snup, bring you another Tintastic video. I don't know why I'm grabbing, I don't know. I grabbed a bunch of squirt for some reason. And today, we're gonna be fighting more Lobots, yeah! In other words, I'm gonna see if maybe I can join a building somewhere instead of just fighting a bunch of them on the street. Hey, little honey boo-boo, you wanna, you wanna do a building? Hey, Mac. Want want to do a building? Oh, okay. Are there even any buildings? Usually, like building city right here. Get it? Cause cause cities have buildings. Ah, ah. Bad joke. I'm sorry. Hey, someone's actually fighting a cog. Maybe I'll just tag along with them. Hey, what's up, bunny? Or you know what? Never mind. Just I don't like you anymore, bunny. You're on my list. Hey, hey, look, it's a building. Come come do the building, maybe. No? Okay, I'm just gonna join the bunnies, whatever. But hi, look, I'm doing a tune to the tiger. Sorry I haven't done one in a while. Not really sorry. LOL. Okay, so I know I get a lot of comments and questions and tweets and people in my live stream chats and YouTube comments asking where Toonie the Tiger is. It's right here, look. Is can see him right there. I legitimately had somebody ask me if I stopped doing them. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna stop in the middle of the series for no reason. No, it's just because I've been genuinely busy. Over the past however many days, I guess it's been like a week now since I've recorded the last one and uploaded it. Like every single day, I have not been here all day. Like I would do my morning live stream and then I would go out somewhere before coming back to do my evening stream. Like, matter of fact, my evening streams haven't even been on time. They've been late. Like, I'm starting at 6 p.m. my time, which is like freaking 9 p.m. on the East Coast, and it's like, hey, you ready to go to bed? Too bad! Mega Snoop streaming Toontown! So I'm trying not to start that late. Actually, I want to start about this time, but I can't because I'm recording a video. I mean, we could sound. I mean, could. Or you can lure and you can drop. Pro tactics! Oh, at least the drop it so awesome. So I've genuinely been busy during the day. How my schedule works is I usually wake up, I go for a morning walk or jog or whatever it is I decide to do in the morning, come back, shower, eat, get ready for my morning live stream by 9 a.m., stream for two to three hours, and then during that middle time is when I record a video, which is what I'm doing right now, or I just play random games or something, I don't know, I mix it up. Sometimes I don't record videos, guys. And then I do my evening stream, and then after the evening stream is done, I spend the rest of the night relaxing, playing games, watching YouTube videos, stuff like that hanging out with friends. And by relaxing and hanging out with friends, I mean I'm really working on videos again because I just love making videos that much. <laughs> but it's not like I've completely forgotten about Toonie the Tiger. I've just been kinda busy, okay? Also, happy birthday, Toonie the Tiger, because he's been around for a year now. He did not make very good progress in a year. Only 54 laugh. What a loser! <laughs> but also, if I edit this in a timely manner, should be my birthday soon, if not, like, Today, I don't know when I'm gonna edit this, who knows, right? But I remember uploading a, uh, a Tony the Tiger on my birthday last year, and uh, hope to do it again this year. And if it is my birthday, then just know that if you're watching this on the day it came out, I'm doing a 12 hour live stream for my birthday, because I guess people talked me into doing that for some reason. And for anyone who's like, that's a really sad way to spend your birthday. <sighs> I did all my celebrating for my birthday the day before my birthday, so we're gonna go to dinner and a movie, and by we, I mean me and Brian, because it's gonna be nice and romantic. And of course the girls as well, whatever. So I'm not missing out on my birthday, okay? It's, it's all good, don't worry about it. How did I go on that whole rant? just now. I don't know. I guess I was talking about Tuning the Tiger, and then my birthday, and then, I don't know, everything just kind of went blurry, and I passed out, and now I'm here. But what I was gonna talk about was my day up until this point. So, 
I woke up and didn't go for my morning walk, which I hate myself for. I'm going to for sure do it tomorrow. Every once in a while, I just don't feel it because uh, I don't go to sleep early enough because everybody else in the whole apartment stays up until 3 a.m. Really hard for me to go to sleep at a reasonable time. Everyone else wakes up at like 1 p.m. So, you know, so I woke up, I came in here, I did my morning stream. It was all right, it was I. Right. I liked it, I had fun. And then after that was done, I talked to Brian for a little bit and then uh, he went to work and then me and the girls went over to the park and we started catching Pokemans. And I caught some really cool Pokemans. Look at the Pokemans I got. And I got some more too, hold up. I got a Jigglypuff today and a Dodrio. Look at, seriously, look how high this Dodrio is that I caught. It's like 500 something. I caught it like that. I didn't know evolution or nothing. Got a Cubone and an Arbok. What I was really ha happy about getting was like this random flipping Onyx out of the middle of nowhere. Just right in the middle of the park. Like, hey, look, an Onyx. Ah! I mean, it still has plenty of room to be powered up, so I'm excited about that. So we got a bunch of Pokemans, and then we went to the Taco Bell that Brian works at. And we made him take our order, right? Laying down the lot. Brian, you make my food. That's what I'm talking. I'm kidding. I love you, Brian. Who am I kidding? He's gonna watch these. <laughs> I can say whatever I want. But apparently there's a new thing that uh, Taco Bell came out with. I'm gonna look it up real quick because I don't remember what it's called, but I ordered that today. Is it not even on their website yet? It's not even on their website yet. That's like how new it is, I guess. But it's like this uh, crunch wrap with like double meat and then they have like a spicy version. And let me tell you, I got the spicy version and the only real difference about the spicy version and the regular version is that they put like jalapenos on the spicy version and that's it that's it it's like they're not gonna add some spicy spice to the beef to make it spicy beef or something no they're just like oh spicy version jalapeno that's lazy okay but anyway i got that it was pretty good it filled me up i'll give you that it definitely had uh it filled me up it definitely had a lot to it like it was decently sized it was probably about that big which is a pretty good size. So I'd probably give it a seven out of 10 because it was it was good, it just wasn't great. There wasn't a whole lot to it. It was like having a burrito that was flat. That was, it was basically that. Maybe it had like extra beef, which it didn't really taste like it. It just tastes like it had a normal amount of beef, so it's whatever. Hey look, more, that's cool. I don't, I don't have sound to use. I'm, so, I'm gonna be left out of this one, aren't I? But then so after I got the Taco Bell stuff, I came back here, I ate it, I threw it away. I walked back and forth between the kitchen six times because I kept forgetting stuff. And now I'm, I'm doing this. So that's cool. That was my date today. If you really, really want to tell me about your day in the comments, I mean, you can. Go for it. I try to read just about every comment. But I actually have a list of things that I was going to talk about. Like, that's what I do. Like, whenever I make any of my informative videos, I don't even have a script. I just kind of write down bullet points and I just kind of talk, you know? Like, talk about this, then talk about this. So for, for Toonie the Tiger, I have, like, little things that if I run out of things to talk about, I can just talk about it. Something I did want to show you guys though, it, real quick, I'm gonna mute the game, listen for a second, listen. Do you hear that? Of course you don't. Anyone who saw my last episode would know that whenever there was like an empty point in time, you would hear this <laughs> kind of sound because my computer, whenever I would render a video or record a video or stream or play a game or open Microsoft Word, it would just go into overdrive trying to cool down the CPU with this little fan that was really loud and it didn't even really work well. Well, I invested in a liquid cooling thing, my jigger, and as you can tell, it's working quite well because it doesn't make a peep. My computer's been running just as good as ever, and it's not as hot anymore. It would heat up the whole room because of how hot the computer would get. Like, you used to be able to put your hand over it and just feel all the heat coming off of it. If anything, now when I put my hand on the back, there's like cool air coming out the back. It's a little warm on the top, but that's to be expected because the processor can reach temperatures of over 100 degrees. When it gets going, do not touch it because it could burn. That should be an obvious thing. It's like, don't touch the stove, kids. So now that I've got one part down, I would eventually like to kind of reassemble my computer. The next thing on my list is a new processor, which I'm really close to just buying right now, but the only thing that's stopping me is the fact that I'm not sure if it'll fit into my motherboard because I currently have a quad core and I want to get an eight core and I have no idea if the eight core is bigger and like if it'll just fit into the same slot or if I need a bigger motherboard for it to fit because my friend has like the i7 
from Intel and he was talking about how it's so much bigger he needed a bigger motherboard for it. So I have no idea if this one works the same way or not so I guess I'm gonna completely reconstruct my computer. It will not be the same thing I bought. I got it last March so slightly over a year. I love you baby, yes I do. I love my computer. Alright, I literally just left to go like summon this double talker invasion. Sue me, okay? So I do not remember what I was just talking about, to be honest. I can just go on to the next item now. What do we got here? But I do want a new processor. I feel like that would be really cool and help me out a lot, especially with what I do with the video makings and the renders and the live streams and the playing of games. Because I do more than Toontown, okay? And with a better processor, I can expand more. Because I'm going to be honest and you can not like this if you want. I really like Overwatch and I would really like to maybe stream Overwatch during one of my morning streams sometimes. Sue me, okay? You don't have to watch! But I still stream Toontown like every day so don't worry, it's fine. And I can't do that with the current processor. If I get a new processor I should be able to do it. It just depends if I fit. Told the story already, now you know. But I'm sure if you guys saw in one of my previous video highlights things there was like this time when the cops were coming around to the uh, area down the street a little bit here. Apparently it was because there was these two women arguing and then somebody called 911 and so like seven police cars and then a guy, one of the police cars, the dude had an assault rifle, he like swung over his back. It all happened while I was live streaming so a bunch of people saw it and then apparently while I was doing that, somebody hit such an incredible shot on one of the holes. You know the, the hole that looks like ski ball where it's got all the little circles in the middle, you know, and you try to get into the red one? They hit it and it went up and it bounced and it flew over and I completely didn't see it because I'm over here like, there's cops out there, uh. He's such an idiot. <laughs> when some cops come out there, all the cops are coming out. He's like, oh shit, run. The, yeah, the cops came out. <laughs> So not only was that kind of like scary, but it was also really awesome. Holy, what the, f what is this? Okay, yo, so there is this person who made a YouTube account called Mega Snoop Exclamation Point. And they're going around to all my videos, all my videos, and they're commenting, please subscribe to me. I, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> On the guy's channel, he literally has no subscribers, no content, not even like a background image. His freaking image? isn't even of my logo. It's like he screenshotted my logo on my Google Plus and like, cause there's still a circle around it and you can see the little Google Plus colors behind it. It's like, you know how easy it is to just, oh, I don't know, go to Google and find one of my logos? Let's find out. Okay, here we are in Google. We're gonna type in Mega Snoop logo and we're gonna go to images here and there we go you could have just and then right click save image but no you have to go to my google plus and screenshot man there's some weird little kind of pictures here isn't there what the frick why does that come up this one's kind of cute i like that one so that was really weird hey i'm done with that one okay let's turn that in yeah greetings tuning the tiger hey i finally got the first animation track this is gonna be a really long series isn't it wah, wah, wah. look at that 42 cogs in the berg how beautiful is that like seriously i'm pretty close to finishing that tune up though i feel confident about that hey what's up invisible person you want to do a building huh 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 because i do What's up, man? Pepperoni, what a great name. I like it. Can I eat you? Why do you even need this building? Look at, look at, okay. You're gonna, I mean, all right. If Toonie gets green, he gets green, yeah. I'm gonna try throw. Okay, you were gonna lure. Never mind then. Uh, I'm gonna try squirt this time. Maybe that'll work, cause I don't know. I like this tune. This tune is just here to kind of help out, which is, which is really cool. Thank you. Random pepperoni tune. So maybe we sound, maybe we get through this quickly. Cause I'm cool with it. If you're cool with it, I'm cool with it. What's that winky face? I don't like that winky face. Winky face is me something's up. And it's either really, really good or really, really bad. It's like you're setting me make a signal. The winky face is literally the trademark of a mixed signal, all right? And you know what's the biggest mixed signal? Is when somebody's all like, I like talking to you, winky face. And then you're like, ooh, they really like talking to me. And then, and then before you, uh, right before you're about to send something really kind of cute back, right? They're all like, oops, meant to put a regular smiley face. <laughs> 
Screw those people, man. Dumb messing around with your winky faces. Like legitimately, I can't tell you how many times in high school I would get really close with somebody, right? And it's always that kind of gray area where you're like, they could like me, they might not, I don't know. Listen fam, listen, listen, okay? If you are in a position where you are talking to them all day, every day, and you wish each other good night, and you wish each other good morning, and you're like, oh my god, we get along so well. They probably like you, okay? It takes a really crazy person to be in that kind of instance and not like you. If only I knew that in high school, because I would be in a situation like that, right? And I'd be like, don't know. I mean, they talk to me all day, all the time. I just don't know. I was an idiot, okay? And be sure, if you are talking to a person like that, and you accidentally sent a winky face, just leave it, okay? Don't send mixed signals, just, just, okay? And you know the funniest way to figure out if somebody likes you or not? Is to just ask. It works wonders, right? Freaking high schoolers nowadays. Anyway, I have no idea who you are, Pepperoni, but like seriously, huge shout out to you for helping me through this building. You a bro, you the man, you my boy, even though you're probably a girl. I'm only two away from the new tuna. And then Toonie can tell bad jokes just like Eddie Murphy. I only need one more weenie dog too, man. Like, it's so close. I can taste it. I can taste the weenie in my mouth. I need to stop talking before somebody pulls this out of context. All right, I'm gonna see if I can at least finish the weenie task before the end of this episode, you know? Man, I really hope I'm using the right microphone for this. It'd be really messed up if I just found out this whole time I was using the wrong microphone and like everything was all gargled and sounded terrible. Oh my word, I'd shoot myself. I always have like these little some little fears that like I don't have the right thing set up and then I get this far into a recording. And especially on a Let's Play, you can't just do it all over again, you know? <laughs> Legitimate fears. <laughs> it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Like I've had a few to the Tiger episodes with weird sounding mics. I think I've used like four different mics in grand total of Toonie the Tiger episodes. There was my old headset and then this headset for like one episode and then my Blue Yeti. What's funny is that my very first video and my very first outro, those were all recorded with a very, very, very old mic. Like I don't even have that mic anymore. That mic broke. It's like one of those really cheap Logitech USB mics that was like really flimsy. It broke because like I still had it on my head as I was trying to walk away and it yanked out of the uh, the side of the computer. It it took the USB part and just kind of ripped it out. <laughs> it was completely destroyed. I need them weenies. Where are my weenies? Where do you think they carry these weenies? Because I mean like you need 10 wiener dogs. I got nine of them. Are they just in the backpack? Are they in your pocket? Haven't got all day. I get it. That's funny. You're funny. Oh my gosh. Are you always this funny? Toonie big fan. I'm a big fan of you, too. That, see, that looks like a toony thing to say. Oh, okay then. Oh, okay, so he leaves. He's like, friends? I was like, I'm not allowed to have friends. My mom won't let me. And he just leaves. Like, okay, whatever, man. When people only are around you because they want to be your friend. <laughs> What kind of people are those? Oh yeah, normal people. Oh, I thought it was gonna come to help and he's just like, nah fam. You don't want to be my friend? I see how it is. I ain't gonna help you. I only help my friend! Come on, hit, 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 hit! Dang it! I'm just gonna throw a pie. It's whatever, man. It's whatever. I just want the weenie! Give me that weenie. Give me the weenie. Oh, where's he going? Don't go in there. Don't go in there, man. Come on, I, I gotta go in there, man. Oh. Watch me get the weenie now. Watch it, watch it. Do you know where I gotta return that weenie? Oh, okay, same thing as Kelly Club. Okay, that's not even here. Oh, it's the next one over! Oh! I'm so fortunate! It wasn't that one, it was the next one. Guys. We good, guys! Hey, what's up, man? Something toodaloo. Back to Creepy Carl. The reason why he's called Creepy Carl. I had an uncle named Carl, but we always called him Creepy Carl. Okay, but that one's a building. <laughs> you know, they're almost done. Like, we can just wait it out. Maybe. I'm gonna just wait it out. I'm gonna just go on Twitter for like 10 minutes. No big deal. All I hear is buildings just falling left and right. Kiki and Lulu. They're either the best of friends or it's the same person. Debt of gratitude to Kiki and Lulu for saving creepy Carl. What is that? 10 level 8s? What? No. Nah, fam. Screw you, Carl. Screw you. Nobody likes you. I didn't like it when it showed up to my 
fifth birthday party naked, or you tried to help me into the shower when I was 12? Screw you, Carl. Well, it still looks like we got a while to go on these tasks. Just another little bit closer, though, to getting that final gag track and completing the berg. Obviously, it's gonna take a lot of episodes, so uh, I'm gonna I'm a chill out here with Kiki, my best friend, from Kiki's Delivery. <laughs> What the frick? Okay, here's me and Kiki. Hi, say hi to Kiki. Hi, Kiki. Thank you guys for watching. I don't usually ask for likes on a video, but I feel like I put a lot of really good work and effort into this one. So if we could hit four likes, that would absolutely mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much. Really do appreciate you guys watching. And me and Toonie, we'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.